Brexit hating Lord Andrew Adonis made gloating predictions over the UK's EU withdrawal, but they backfired after he claimed the split wouldn't happen. The rejoiner, who was previously in Labour's cabinet, has long demanded the UK stay a member of the EU, despite Britain voting to quit the bloc five years ago. With Brexit now complete, and the nation free of the EU's shackles, the peer has continued his calls to see the decision overturned. He has even argued the best way to boost the UK economy would be by rejoining the EU's single market and customs union. Even though Britain has only just cut ties with Brussels, this move, he insisted last month, would allow Britain to ensure it could recover economically from the coronavirus pandemic. But the 58-year-old, who was transport minister between 2008 and 2010, has previously seen his calls backfire spectacularly, particularly in 2019 when three of his predictions would come back to haunt him. Speaking in June two years ago, Lord Adonis boasted at an ITT conference that attendees can all have confidence in their businesses going forward because Brexit won't happen. He claimed it would be inconceivable for the Conservatives, who at the time were deciding who would replace Theresa May as Prime Minister and their leader, to call a general election. In a speech, the pro-EU politician also said Brexit was running out of steam, and predicted that by the spring of 2020 a second referendum would be held, and that Remain would resoundingly win. He said, it's inconceivable the Tories will call a general election. Nigel Farage is eviscerating the Conservative Party at the moment and because Turkeys don't vote for Christmas I think we're unlikely to have a general election. Even if we did have an election, it would not resolve Brexit, we will have a second referendum next spring which will end 60 40ths in favour of Remain. So, you can all have confidence in your businesses going forward. By December that year, with Boris Johnson as Prime Minister, the UK held a general election, which saw the Conservatives decimate Labour, with their Get Brexit Done mantra resonating with voters. Labour, led by Jeremy Corbyn, would endure nightmare polling, suffering its worst general election results since 1935. Their manifesto pledge to hold a second referendum was torn to shreds by experts and voters, and saw its infamous Red Wall fall to the Tories. And within weeks of 2020, Mr Johnson secured the UK's exit from the EU, signalling months of trade talks with the bloc, which would eventually lead to a pact being secured on Christmas Eve last year. More recently, Lord Adonis was under attack for making the argument to rejoin the European Customs Union and single market.